Hey, it's Daniel with Trailer Mountain, and today I have a new review for you guys. Um, it's a bike light, and it's from a company that I've reviewed for before, but I haven't reviewed for in a while. And I'm doing another giveaway. Might want to stay tuned to the end for all the details, but it's a company called Night Pro Vision. Here's their website right here. Check these guys out. These guys are making some pretty cool lamps and bike lights. And they were one of my very, very, very first gear reviews on my channel. So I've been with these guys for a while. I've been on YouTube now for 10 years. So thank you very much to everybody that supported me. I really appreciate it. Um, but this is the bike light right here. This is the BX1200. Obviously 1200 lumen, USB-C charging, IPX6 waterproof. And it comes in a couple colors. I got the copper because I thought it was just unique and looked cool. So I'm going to unbox this thing. I'm going to show you what's cool about it on the table behind me. That's what I do. I unbox things and show you whether you should potentially want to buy them or not based on the information that I provide. Um, granted, these opinions are mine and mine alone. Uh, and then we'll get this thing on my bike and we'll do some trail riding a little bit later tonight. And I'll show you how bright it gets and how it looks on the trail. So without further ado, let's flip the camera around, open up the uh, box on the table behind me. Let's get started. All right, so here's your BX1200 from Night Provision. Yeah, Cree XML2, 1200 lumens max output, heavy duty quick mount, high capacity lithium ion fast USB charging battery, water resistant to IPX6, 4500 milliamp hour battery built in, high, mid, and low, slow, fast, and SOS. Indicators are red, green, or green, red, and blinking red, meaning that's the battery life. So if it's green, it's good. Red, it's dying. Blinking red is it's about to die. So, yeah, max runtime, seven hours. I imagine that's on low. USB-C, IPX6, impact resistance. Usually standard is about a meter. Let's see if we got it. All kinds of stuff in here. Need help? No problem. Scan me. Takes you right over to Night Provision. That's cool. Leave a review. It's easy. Caution. This is not a flashlight. Only use when riding for proper cooling. Very, very important. And then it says, press USB-C and firmly into charging port to ensure proper connection. Duh. Always seal rubber cover flush to prevent any water damage. It has 60 day return, two year warranty. There's all your information. High is 1200, medium is 650, and low is 400. Seven hours on 400 lumen, so that's pretty good. Five hours on medium, it's 650 lumen, and three and a half hours on high, which is fantastic, because usually I ride for like two to two and a half hours, so that's great. 130 meter beam throw on high, 120 meter on medium and 110 on low. Cree XML2, weight is 228 grams. Emergency mode, it has slow flash, SOS, and fast flash. Here's your bracket. So this goes around your handlebars, obviously. And what I do like about this, essentially, this is what you do. Let me loosen this thing up all the way. has this little soft kind of rubbery thing on here to prevent any scratches. So some people have like carbon handlebars. I don't per se, but I have had them before and it's nice to have some protection because carbon bars are not cheap. You have a little, that's your release for the quick release. You have a USB-C to USB charging cable two of them actually this one is actually just a mini USB because it also comes with a backlight so I'm gonna turn my lights off just so you can see this turn it on as I kind of fade I kind of like that and then fade in and out flashing slower flashing and then off so that's pretty cool and 
And that has its own little mount um, in the back, which kind of goes like so. Okay, so that just kind of slides in there just like so, just like that. And there's a little tab for the bottom. And this goes around your seat post, obviously, just like, just like that. And it even has a left and a right side, so you know what side to put it on. But I don't think that's a big deal. So that's pretty cool. Also copper. Back here is a USB. That's your USB port. It has a little rubber thing on there. So you have its own little charging cable for that. And you have your charging cable for the main headlight or bike light. And this is the star of the show right here. BX1200, one button on the top here. Obviously this thing gets hot because it puts out a lot of light. Here's your bracket. On the back, you have this little rubber tab for your USB-C. So close that up and then I'll turn my lights off just so we can get a little brief look at this thing. So you turn it on, green light means it's fully charged. That was 1200, that's medium, and then there's low, and then it's off. Double tap, it goes into strobe. Double tap it again, it goes into SOS. And then it goes into super fast strobe. Then off. And back on high, medium, low. Push and hold it, turns it off. All right, so let's get it on the scale. I want to see what it weighs. So this is 6.7 ounces with the cable, 7.2. With the backup light and the backup light cable, 8.8. .8. The bracket, 10.3. So that's everything. So the way this works is essentially you get your little bracket, slides in just like that. And then this thing doesn't budge. There's no play in it, which is super cool. And you push this in, and it releases it. So in like that, push that in, release. That's the release, that little guy right there. So boom, slide it in place. This thing doesn't budge. Release, and then boom, comes right off. Makes charging a lot easier. And there you have it. So let's get this thing on my bike, and I'll show you how bright this thing really gets tonight. So there's the backup light. I like the fade, that's super cool. That's high, off, obviously. High, medium, low, then it goes off again. You can do strobe. And there's your SOS, and there's your fast strobe. And then back to high. You hold it, push it, turns it off. Definitely bright enough. Definitely bright enough to ride on the trail at night. The battery lasts a good long while too.
right, guys, so that's my review of the BX1200 from Night Pro Vision. Here's their website one more time right here. Check these guys out. These guys have been around for a while now and um, making some pretty cool stuff, and they're inexpensive, and they make great gifts. Definitely worth a look at. Now, all right, so as for the giveaway, we're going to be giving these away to two subscribers of my channel. So rules for the giveaway. Real simple. Number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Number two, you have to leave a comment down below. Leave a comment for sure. If you don't leave a comment, you're not entered. Number three, you have to like and then share. That's it. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Four things. Super easy. You can do all four within about 12 seconds. So um, let the fun begin. I will, let's see, it is end of August. Yeah, end of August. I will be announcing the winner... Um, end of September. So you have a month. <clears throat> I just kind of shot from the hip on that. So you have one month to enter. And then two of you will be winning your own BX1200 Lite from Night Pro Vision. I will contact you guys direct. And I will um, need your addresses, obviously. And then the company will send you out your own BX1200. And you'll get to choose the color as well. So super cool. Four different little tiny minuscule little rules. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Real easy. If you do that, you're entered. Period. If you guys have any questions or comments about the BX1200, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those questions or comments down in the comments section, and I will get uh, back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys supporting me over the last 10 years. Also, if you want to buy one of these, like say you didn't win, but you like it and you want to get one anyway, they're only 20, like 25 bucks uh, plus shipping. So they're really inexpensive, but I think for the most part, you're not going to find a better deal for 25 bucks on a bike light. You know, this thing is solid, um, metal casing, very bright. So if you like it and you want to buy one, I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can make your purchase. Now, when you click on that link and make a purchase, it helps support my YouTube channel, and I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me. So thanks again for tuning in. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.